The goal of this video is to demonstrate the CAM ICU, the confusion assessment method of detecting delirium. It's a four part tool we can use to detect, detect delirium in the ICU. Um, it should be integrated into your neurological assessment every morning and with any mental status change. Our history is we have a 49 year old patient admitted with sepsis. Your report from the night shift was she is calm, collected, cool, and she is um, seeing spiders on the wall. Uh, her white count is six. She's a febrile. The sepsis looks to be resolving. Prior medications include Xanax as needed and a glass or two of wine. That's the only prior medical history. So let's proceed with our CAM assessment. Step one is, is there an acute or change in mental status? Obviously the spiders on the wall is not normal. There has been a change. So step one is yes or positive for delirium. Step two is a very simple questionnaire that you can be done in 10 seconds or less. Hello, I'd like to ask you some questions to see how clear you're thinking this morning. Can you squeeze my hand, please? I'd like you to squeeze my hand when I say the letter A. S, A, V, E, H, A, A, R, T. Thank you. Obviously, the patient has made more than two errors in the save a heart. She is definitely delirium positive. So we have question one, delirium positive. Question two, delirium positive. We move on to question three then, which is our cetacean agitation score. Uh, anything but a four is considered delirium positive. Looking at this patient, she's picking at things, she appears anxious, her sedation agitation scale, I would say, would be a five. Part four of the delirium agitation scale, or delirium scale is a series of yes and no questions. Will a stone float on water? What? Does one pound weigh more than two pounds? Pounds of what? Okay. Are there fish in the sea? Well, sure. Okay. Can you use a hammer to pound a nail? No. Okay. Can you hold up two fingers on one hand, please? Okay. Can you hold up two fingers on your other hand? Obviously, there have been more than two errors on this questionnaire. So your patient is considered delirium positive on this question also. So she's delirium positive, you charted it in your chart, what do you do next? You involve your physician, you involve multidisciplinary team, you involve pharmacy, you look at nursing interventions that could see why did this happen. In this particular instance, it's a replica of a case study we had last week in our hospital where the patient took Xanax at home but was not restarted on the Xanax in the hospital. And once the patient was restarted on Xanax, her delirium resolved in about 12 hours. So this patient's history included taking Xanax at home and we have not restarted that. So basically she's going through benzo withdrawal. Now let's do a different patient. We have a 49 year old knee replacement Post-op day three, moving along swimmingly, just following the pathway, it's projected to go home in two days. So by your question one, you know by your report that she's alert, oriented, cooperative with cares, asks appropriate questions. So we know question one is no.